hey guys we are back if you are new welcome and if you are not to so welcome back so in today's video i will be showing you guys how i personally make the bojangles inspired blueberry biscuits so basically just some blueberry biscuits homemade from scratch i'm gonna show you guys how i do mine one of the biggest tips that i can give you guys if you are going to be making homemade biscuits is to have everything cold and i mean everything okay so your butters need to be frozen super cold your milks need to be super cold your flour mixture still needs to be cold so i usually just mix everything together and then pop it into my freezer so that it can get cold even your mixing bowls and your utensils your spoons everything has to be super cold to get that delicious flaky biscuits that you remember grandma making or that you've gotten from restaurants okay so what i want to do is start the process of measuring things out um, grating my butter i like to grate my butter into the flour mixture because it just gives those pockets of deliciousness pockets of butter anytime you bite into a biscuit and so what i've learned to do is to grate my butter into the flour mixture frozen butter might i add I grate into the flour mixture and then I just begin to fold really quickly, okay? And so the heat of your hands begins to warm up the ingredients. That's why it's always best to start out with super cold items, even your counter if you can. I have granite, so it's already cold, just from the house being cool already. So I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. And so let's follow along. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is measure out two cups of flour. So. I used to just spoon in my flour into my measuring cup. So that's the oven beeping. I do have the oven preheated to 450 degrees. Just FYI. Okay, so one cup. and two cups. All right, so then the next thing you're gonna need is a third cup of sugar. There you go. Like so. All right, next you're gonna need is your salt, which is one teaspoon and then four teaspoons. Salt is one teaspoon and then the baking powder is four teaspoons. So that's what you need next. I'm gonna get this a good mix. And then we're gonna put it in the freezer. Okay, so now I am going to grate my butter, like so. Just use a regular cheese grater, whatever you have. And grate your butter into a bowl and then I'm going to freeze it again.
it's always better to do it frozen because as you're grating it, it's gonna heat up to room temp. So I always start out with a stick of frozen butter. So I'm gonna grate down to five tablespoons. And I have my paper marked to where I need to stop. that butter that came out. So same thing with this, I'm going to put it back in the freezer so it can get chilled again, and then we're gonna assemble our biscuits. All right guys, here's a cold bowl from my freezer ready to assemble the dough. All right, so first we're gonna get the flour mixture. All up in there, okay. Then we're going to pour the cold buttermilk one cup and guys I will be leaving the recipe down below so don't fret okay so then we're going to just go ahead and fold all that into each other So then what I'm gonna do now is put the butter in. All right. it in as well. Gonna fold in some freeze dried blueberries. I just use the iPad. Okay. And then just kind of stir it into each other. Careful not to break. That should be good. All that out. It kind of broke up a little bit, so I kind of got it. Tuck them in like so. Yeah. Careful not to break them. Huh? I just press them in wherever I see them pop out.
So this. Look how good it looks, guys. Put them in an ungreased baking dish. Make sure your biscuits are touching each other. So this is how they look. I got about two, four, six, eight, about nine biscuits from this recipe. And so if you need more, I always double the recipe, but this yields me about eight to nine biscuits, okay? Looking just like that. So we're gonna pop them in the oven for a good seven to 12 minutes until they're golden brown. And then we will put the tops and brush the tops with butter and then make our glaze. All right, we got some melted butter from that butter I used earlier, and we're just gonna brush the tops. You hear the sizzling. All right, there we go. I use clear vanilla because I don't like the color that regular vanilla leaves my icing. And so if you want a pure icing that's pure white, then you just need to um, use clear vanilla. So lemon juice to freshen it up, brighten up the flavor. And then a little bit of milk at a time.
again to mix it. And then just add a little bit more milk at a time, okay? We did. Now I'm able to beat it. That looks pretty good. I will say just a little bit more. Okay, now we're going to put our glaze on. So again, so I like to just, you know, I like to kind of have control over the glaze. There we go, so it's not too much. Delicious blueberry biscuits made at home. So good, simple to make, not a lot of time, not a lot of ingredients, but you can have your own Bojangles Bulberry inspired biscuits at home. Look. All right guys, this will be the ending of this video. Please drop a like, a comment, and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And go on ahead and hit the notification bell so you are notified when I upload brand new content, whether it's cooking content, review content, or just a day in my life. Go ahead, hit that notification button so you are notified, okay? And so, share with a friend, tell a friend about this channel. And yeah, I hope you guys like today's video. I will leave the recipe in the description box below. So please check that out if you want to make them yourself and try them at home for yourself, okay? So I will talk to you guys in my next video. But until then, you guys be blessed. Bye.